Hi and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today with another puzzle of Hanayama called The Cast Cross. Level is 3 out of a maximum of 6. Designed by Eddie Nagata from Japan and also made in Japan by the company, the well-known company Hanayama. In addition, I would also like to review another puzzle called The Amaze Ball, which is still not available, but part of a Kickstarter campaign, which is currently live. And I think there's only one more day to go. So if you are interested to get one of these puzzles, check out the link. I will put you in the video description or up here in the corner to have a look at the Kickstarter campaign. And if you like what you see, of course, you can get a copy yourself. And now let's get these two puzzles out of the box. Let's start with the Hanayama. And here it is, the cast cross. As usual, the quality is nice and it's a two-piece puzzle. Let me just check it out here. Yes, this is a two-piece puzzle. As usual, you need to disassemble it, reassemble it. And as I did it in my last videos of uh, reviewing Hanayama puzzles, uh, I will just start with a light solve of this puzzle and then later on explain in detail how this puzzle works in a step-by-step -step instruction. And then we have also the Amaze Ball. So let's see how this puzzle looks. Here we go. This puzzle, by the way, is available in difficulty grades from very easy to hard. This is the beginner level, which is number two out of these four difficulty levels. There's also an easier one and then comes also intermediate and expert level. And it's not in the starting configuration, I just see here, because um, let me just get this to the starting configuration. Here we go. So now it's at start, at the starting position. And the task is to get it to the finish position over here. And then when it's in the finish position, it should be possible to open it up. I'm not sure how this works, but it should work. This piece, by the way, is a prototype in case you see some scratches or anything. It has also, when you open it up, it has also a compartment inside for where you can store some stuff. The size of the compartment you can check out at the page of the Kickstarter campaign. Okay, so that's it for the introduction. Just stay in place. Okay, so that's it for the intro introduction. And after the spoiler break, you're going to see my first attempt trying to solve the Amaze Ball as well as the Hanayama cast cross. And again, as said in the video introduction, if you are just coming to have a look at this puzzle here and how exactly to solve it, reassemble it, you can just click the mark down below in the video timeline to jump directly to the solving part of this one. So, but now let's start with the Amaze Ball and let's see how difficult this is. This is level beginner. And I think from this, we can also understand how at least roughly how hard the harder versions will be. So one thing I didn't mention in the introduction is that there are some holes down here where you can switch between the upper and lower half. So in some cases, when I align them properly, you can see some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller. And in these bigger holes, the ball can transfer from one area to another area. Okay, let me just start here. When I twist it, I cannot transfer into another layer because the hole is too small. So let me just start here and get somewhere where I can transfer into another layer. So for example, when I go like over here, which is possible, I think, ball is now right here. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if you can see this properly, but there's no other way to, to, uh, to, to handle this puzzle, I think. Whoa, and this is already difficult to execute. Oh man, this is difficult to execute. More difficult than I expected. Interesting enough that during the shipping, it exactly made this move. Here we go. Now, we, now we're talking. <laughs> okay, I need to figure out the correct way. Uh, yes, I think I can go here. This is the one way. I could go here. Just proceed. And I can imagine based on the number of transfers you have to do, it's getting more and more difficult. So this is probably the difference between a intermediate or a expert level puzzle and also the, oh, the beginner level puzzle. <laughs> oh my God, I'm getting crazy here. Oh man. Oh, come on. Come on. I I hope I really need to get into there. Maybe I should check it up front. Yes! Oh, I'm in. I just sh <laughs> shake, shook, shake. I just 
shaked it and um, now it's in. Oh, finally. But due to the different possibilities how you can enter the areas, it's very confusing. So I enter, I, I move over this maze ball square, let's say. Now I need to get in, get in here. <laughs> oh, no, I can pick between two even. Yeah, I think that's, that's the right way. I'm really interested to see how the thing opens up. And now finish is here. And I think I did it. Yeah. Yeah. I think I did it. So here's the finish line. And here we go. Finish. So and now let's see. I need to drop into this hole, I think. Let's lock this up to make it easier. Okay, now I'm in. How did this work? Works perfectly. And oh, yeah, a customized coin inside. Congrats, you are freaking amazeballs. You are freaking amazeballs, okay. Nice, a Mr. Puzzle logo inside. Really appreciate this one. Oh, and it's directly back at the starting position. This is great, this is a great feature. So you do not have to reset it by move the ball to the finish, from the finish to the start again, but it's directly passing to the start again. That's a great feature. Ah, okay, okay, so the, I'm not sure if you can see this, but there is like this spring element here and has a pin on the bottom which is there okay like here and this pin is blocking i think this feature here from being rotated yeah and so this is like blocked it's blocking i think like this feature here from being rotated but if the ball goes in, the ball is capable to use this pin down here as kind of a lever to, to push it aside. And when you rotate it, the ball's pressed in between, it will push it aside and then the ball can pass it or stays in this position and you can rotate it. It seems I just can put, put it back together, put something inside like a Mr. Puzzle coin, for example, <laughs> and then I can just rotate it and it snaps back and is locked in place again. This is a great feature. And now let's have a look at the cast cross. I will zoom in a bit to handle this one. This is a level three puzzle. So let's see how difficult this one is. Not sure what type of puzzle this is. Of course, it's a disassembly reassembly puzzle, but OK, I need to pull it apart like so, it's like a twisting interlocking puzzle or something like that any other way i can disassemble the thing no this needs, seems to be the starting position hmm i think fiddle it down out here would be probably oh it seems to be possible but i wouldn't have expected it there's no other way i think there's no other move possible this, this solution does not really feel elegant so um cannot imagine that this is like the intended solution. Oh, here we go. It moved. So this was obviously the right move. I was hoping actually it was not, <laughs> but okay. Where do, do I need to separate the pieces, by the way? So I should be focused to get it over there and then turn it around. Oh, I can turn. Ah, I can turn this way. And it need to be other way around. No, it needs that's That's not. Okay. <laughs> oh, puzzle is solved. What a fiddly puzzle. Whew. I will now get it back together and then show you the solution step by step. And this is how it works. First is I have the golden piece shifted in this direction. Then next, I need to rotate it and I come to a stop like here. To continue with the rotation, I need to slightly lift this one like so. And then I'm able to pass this edge here and rotate it like so. 
I come then into this condition. In this one, I can turn it upwards, shift it like over here. And now comes a tricky move and I'm not sure if this is right because it's like slightly stucking on my copy. I need to twist this golden piece around this corner here and you can see there's a slight chain fall on this corner. So there is the intention to move this around the corner by shifting it. You cannot do it in another way. So you need to rotate it again. And then you need to rotate this one counterclockwise. And here my puzzle is getting stuck a bit, you see? But I think it must be the right move. So, and then I continue to rotate it like over here. And when I'm here, I'm pretty much done because I can rotate the golden piece clockwise in three steps. And then I align the two pieces down here and take them apart. To join them again, I just join the two pieces again, like so. Rotate the golden piece over here. Just flip it again three times or two times <laughs> like that it's over here. Twist it over there. Then again, difficult move in my case. I move it with the one piece around the edge and I need to slightly push it to be able to do so. Like so. So now come only the last step to get this these two aligned again. And then it's already done. So I'll move the golden piece over here and then I move it down and twist it at the same time, like so. To eventually get it into this flat condition. I use this step in between because it's easier to explain. Then comes the last move. You can see again, the two chain foot edges are aligned here. And then I just twist this here counterclockwise and rotate it around around this axis so and if you do it in the right way which is kind of tricky to figure out because it's a move like twisting it and then also lifting this one up and down and if you hit the right spot like here then the puzzle is finally solved. So definitely two interesting puzzles today. This one would I would rate with a difficulty of two out of maximum five. This one with a difficulty rating of three out of maximum five due to it's very fiddly, not because it's very difficult to understand actually. Both interesting puzzles, both are recommendable and that's it for today. If you like this episode, of course, comment below. Let me know which of these two puzzles you like more. If you have any other comments or recommendations, let, just also let me know. And that's it for today. Until next time, keep on puzzling.